Hi everybody, good morning. I'm continuing this room. I got uh, someone, uh, one of the questions got a bit confusing network uh, concept. Uh, network essential. Let me do a quick walkthrough on this. It's an easy room. Uh, this other room that is also if you want to go deeper something about it. So this one is more about straightforward TCP, some protocols and things like that. Let's go quickly so in case someone need help in the question. So DHCP gave me your network usage. So we have the IP address, we have the router, we have DNS server for the website domain name. Uh, now for um, a DHCP you have discover, the offer, then a reply, then a request, then acknowledge that the IP. So so DHCP working for steps. If you remember Compia Network Plus or if you did Security Plus, I think you, uh, the 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 DHCP the client broadcast DHCP discover. So you look for DHCP. Where is the DHCP server? DHCP and uh, make an offer. DHCP then the client respond with DHCP request, indicate that it accept the offer because you need to confirm it there and then uh, DHCP acknowledge and then the DHCP will know. So we have four steps DHCP uh, request and you can get them if you have uh, Wireshark or here they're using T-Shark. We, we, we don't have this file to check it ourselves but you can see the, the communication between uh, the computer for example and DHCP server. Uh, of course, now we, we can see this one thing. This the the two five is the broadcast address. Then we have uh, the MAC address as the uh, as for the link layer. The first and third packet of the sent broadcast MAC address is FFF. This is well known. So this is what you always should remember. This one, this one, and the third for it sent packet from the IP address zero for broadcast. So this is like a technical term to use it in networking. So when you see these IPs, you can always remember, <coughs> sorry, this communication somewhere. So the steps for DHCP, of course, we know are four. And then what is the destination IP address that um, the client use when they send? When you send, you can see sending this IP address. So you can safely the, the broadcast IP address. And then what's the source IP address the client use? Because client this still doesn't have IP, so he's asking, so he start using the zero IP, the standard for network. <coughs> Sorry guys. Here the we have stated the network concept. So this is a room somewhere you can check. Let me check this room in Triacme. Uh, network concept. Oh, I didn't do the. Oh, the OSA model and all of that. So okay. Uh, okay, the MAC address are known at 45 bits. Usually, I think uh, the first three is the company, uh, if I'm mistaken, uh, related to the company itself, and then uh, the second one is random generated. So, however, uh, not random. It's part of the network uh, network card when you buy. Uh, it's encoded there. This software you can change them in for hacking all of that. So destination mark, source mark, type IP4. So here if you have Wireshark, that's what usually you see. Uh, you can see here uh, a destination, uh, the MAC address, the source MAC address, IPv4. This is the hex uh, pres uh, presentation. Uh, address origin protocol. ARP, ARP request to looking for the usually he send the MAC address. Is looking for who? What is the IP for that MAC address? Uh, T shark minus N. I think that's the one showed uh, the MAC address. If you use TC damp, it was better if you give us five to practice. Hmm. But we have screenshots, so we are not. Uh, this is more like an introduction to give you the idea what things are. Uh, what is the MAC address used for the ARP request? Uh, um, uh, for ARP request, for ARP request, we use the uh, the standard one because you're looking for the ARP request is sent from a MAC address. Uh, yeah, he's talking about the uh, what is the destination MAC address used it for. Uh, an ARP request. Uh, the first packet, the ARP reply arrives shortly afterward, and the host with IP address. Where is this? 
a destination FFF so this is the standard one we talked about it before in our example what's the MAC address of this IP 192 and 192 what's the IP 661 send IP address uh, send a MAC address so it's the f that one the 44 IP do we have here to copy 44 DF6 so we can copy it from here it's this one 6C so we are cool here and then the next one oh the NCP the ping request when you try to ping or something so ping trace route and all this uh, the ping command sender IC equal request type 8 so they have type 8 it's, it is different types I think uh, response frame the ping if you use the computer uh, the computer will receive it and respond with uh, this one is good to know them when you have Wireshark because you can trace who's uh, who's calling who uh, this is minus C so you're on this four packet one two three four trace route usually to trace a domain it give you where uh, usually is good also when you have a website is down or something to see where the place is down using the example image above how many bytes were sent in uh, the eco ping request you're talking about this example uh, how many bytes which example this one yeah this is the trace so talk about here how many four packet transferred four received um, that's a question using the example above how many bytes were sent to the eco ping request eco ping request why I don't see it this is the ping request the eco ping request type 8 8 uh, eco ping data 40 byte data 40 byte you can see in the screen here 40 bytes so why is not showing no here it doesn't show exactly okay so it's in uh, the wire shark which IP header field does the trace route command require to become zero uh, require to become zero is I think uh, if I'm mistaken is the TTL uh, no no time to leave uh, do they talk about it in the room uh, the TTL when TTL reach zero the router drops so this is the the TTL so this one I remember it from the days of CompTIA what's the routine the routine of course is uh, usually here if you did CCNA or something you know about these CompTIA things how the router communicate with each other the network how all these things they give us some uh, the OSPF is the uh, I think this one is open source this is uh, uh, Cisco property uh, BGRB I think is only for big uh, reproot information protocol yeah it's good to have them but uh, if you do Cisco something you go deeper on them so this is uh, just a room to give you an idea so you don't want to go deeper for introduction uh, the property is that the net is of course what usually have in a, in a company office when you have like a 10 10 hundred laptop or something and you have the router the router is the public IP the router do DHCP and give IP address for the local network same as this uh, image so you have the company there you have the router the router has uh, uh, the public ad uh, IP this is the local uh, the gateway for the router and then everyone get a uh, private IP so from the internet you see all of them as one they, they all have this external IP with the router so basically is uh, this is the the IP that everybody see in the network so it's 212.3.4.5 <coughs> sorry assuming that the router has infinite processing power approximately speaking or many thousand simultaneous TCP connection can it maintain 
the hint said we are limited by the number of I got someone that's why I did this room someone asked me about this question so you can google the number of the, if you don't know the number what's the the number is 65,535 this is the number of total port for, for the IP uh, this is the the smaller one this is the famous ones in any case so basically if the router can talk to all so we will get 65,535 uh, what is what this room is uh, uh, but here you see the how many thousand so so we just approximately if, if you round this you can round it to 65 or 66 depend on how this question was uh, structured so you can see it's, it's going for 65,000 so basically Assuming the the question is talking about sixty five thousand five thirty five, you you assume you round this to zero sixty five thousand. Uh, it's supposed to be rounded to sixty six thousand six six. But in any case, that's how the room was created. So, uh, and then they give us this little exercise, and they tell us, for example, we need to give twenty five device internet access. However, we only have one public. This is related to net, and then. I want to find out the DNS server and default root of a network automatically which protocol uh, I want to find out the DNS server and default root uh, usually you get this from DHCP uh, I want to find another host hardware MAC address on the network if you're looking for MAT you go with ARP uh, I want to confirm that I can exchange packet with another host as if I'm playing ping pong. Ping pong, you may need to go in ICMP protocol. Okay, so we can have this. And then computer is happy and we finish the room. Thank you guys. I hope, uh, I hope this uh, will help someone if need any question. Uh, and why is it freezing now? hello look what track me is playing now whenever I, I redo the room for video when you, this new uh, new design of track me always freeze my computer for whatever reason okay just leave it okay guys thank you very much and hope you like it and thank you very much